everybody. Welcome to Carol's Art Room. Today in my video, I'm going to um, mix up some paints in my pouring medium. I've had a few people um, asking how I mix my paints. I do have a tutorial on that. It's in the description of my, on my videos. Um, but I just thought I will do an update. So I'm mixing a couple of colors and then I will do a bloom. So stick around and uh, see how I do it. Hi everyone, it's Carol here in her art room. I'm gonna do a, uh, a bloom today in some pretty colors, but first I'm gonna mix up two colors that I need. And I thought, well, why not just show you how I mix my paints? I know I have some tutorials way back in my uh, YouTube channel. The link to them is in the description under the video. But uh, that was a while ago. So I've got my Bear. This is what I use for my pouring medium for my blooms and swipes. This is Bear um, Deep Base 8300. It's at Home Depot. It's uh, interior, exterior, high gloss enamel. So I'm just gonna mix it in this cup and I usually do um, one part poly, and this is my polyacrylic, one part polyacrylic to two parts um, pouring medium. I'm just gonna mix up a small amount today because I already have some mix and I'll just add it to it. So I have a uh, measuring spoon, but I'm gonna use, I'll just use the measurements on here. I'll use 50 mils of polyacrylic and I'll use a hundred mils. Yeah, so one to two, a hundred mils of the uh, Bear 8300. Let's see how much that fills it to. See how thin this polyacrylic is? And that's almost 50 and a little bit more. It's almost like water. So that should be enough. See how that 50. Now I'll just uh, wipe this out. And the bear, this is untinted by the way, untinted paint. So that's why you add your color to it. So I'm gonna go up to the 150. And you'll see how goopy it is. It's like, it's like pudding. Get another spoon. Scoop it out. I've got a guala weight of 150, so. See how goopy it is? That's probably pretty good right there. And then I just give it a lot of stirring. I'll show you my min wax. This is min wax. Polyacrylic, clear gloss. Um, this is the water-based one, so easy water cleanup. Don't get the one that's 
I have to get the water-based one. When it says water cleanup, that's the one. So I use polyacrylic and I also have used um, Josanya varnish. So uh, right now I'm I'm doing my polyacrylic mixture. Really got to give it a, a lot of stirring, and it will still be thick. consistency when it lands in there you can see that it makes a big mound and then when you add this to paint especially tube paint it will be thicker so then you have to add then I usually add I have a mixture of water and varnish a little bit of varnish mixed in with my water so maybe like five ounces of water and an ounce of varnish. That's what I use to thin my paints down. These are paints, not, not pigments. Pigments are similar. I would wet my pigments with the varnish in the cup. Then I would add the this pouring medium to my pigments. It's pretty good now. Scrape the sides down. All right, so that's the pouring medium that I use to mix in with my paints. All right, so now I will mix First, I will mix a deco art paint. Deco arts are thinner. This is a deco art extreme sheen. I use this one quite a bit. This one and the PBO are my two favorite golds. Now, after a while, when you get used to this, you, you won't have to measure much, but. So I'll use, I usually do like one part paint to three parts pouring medium. So this is just a little spoon I'm using. And as you can see, it's a lot thinner than tube paint. Get another spoon like the same. You can see this. I can. I don't think I can aim you down anymore. Okay. So I'm going to take three scoops of this. One, two, three. And I'm going to give this a good stir. And then you have colored paint. Now, the consistency that this comes out is actually almost exactly what I want. It's a little bit thick, but it's not too bad. So I will just add a couple of drops of my water 
varnish. Maybe another couple of drops. So when it lands in there, I go like that, it disappears pretty quick, and that's what I like. Let's see if I can... See, when it lands, it, it goes away quickly. I like that. I like that consistency. I didn't make very much. I don't like to make a ton of it at once. So I'll use this, I'll mark the lid, and I'll give this a, a go with my bloom today. So now I'll mix a tube paint for you, and this is a Cerulean Blue by Artist Loft. I don't use Artist Loft very much, but I will today. Get another spoon. a pretty blue. I did need a lighter blue in my collection today, so I didn't have one already made. One, two, three. And I didn't show you, but as you can see, the tube paint is a lot thicker than the deco art. So it will need, see how it goops down? It will need some more water. You could add the water mixture to here if you want, but I don't like to do that because if I'm mixing different consistencies of paint, then, then this one consistency can't be adjusted if it's too thin. So I like to keep it like that, and then I can always add my water and my varnish liquid to thicken it, or to thin it down. So right now that's too thick. It's gonna need a lot of thick thinning down. I just got these little containers from Amazon, they're, they're pretty good. I like them. I can see through them. I can see the color through the bottom, which I like. They don't have a ridge inside. better it doesn't run off properly I like it to run in one stream we're almost there I do have a tutorial on how I mix my pigments and how I mix my cell activator. But this is it for today. There we go. I think it's good. There we go. See, it runs straight off. That's perfect. Okay, so that's the pouring for today. And I will get to my bloom and I'll be right back. 
Hi, everybody. As you can see, welcome to Carol's Art Room, by the way. As you can see, I've been making quite a mess here. But I'm going to do a bloom with some blues and one purple. I'm trying to make a couple of tiles for somebody that I like these colors. So I just thought I might as well film it. All right, here we go again. This better work this time because I got to go and have dinner. All right, this is blue, black. Pibio. And I'm going to use this is cerulean blue. This is sapphire blue. my gold here it is I love adding gold to my blooms and then this is uh, PBO oriental violet and uh, color shift purple flash mixed together <clears throat> and use blacks or Payne's gray cell activator Okay, this one has to work. Yikes, I don't have any time left. That's pretty. See, I'm, if you blow too hard, look, that's the underneath color. I didn't use any white cell activator this time. And I got the underneath color coming up and I just stuck my finger in it. And I'm just gonna leave this one, see how I can side here. Love that blue sapphire. I got most oh I got some here. Last time I did one and it was all here. Nothing here. It always happens. One side gets the most cell activator going across, I guess. No, it's not enough cell activator here to go right over. So that's what happens. But that's okay. We're going to we're going to work with it. It's going to take some of this. Put it in my Oh, the center's coming back nicely, but I like that. Okay. 
trying to unstick that middle there. noisy. gorgeous. Let's put some paint on the corner there. time. That's pretty. I don't mind the white. The white's good contrast. Let's try one more. All right, I think it's good. All 
love how that gold is throughout a little bit. You can just see it shimmering over the top. It's beautiful. It'll look nice when it's dry. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and come back to Carol's Art Room. So I'll get my other tile. This one's more got more white in it. You can see. But they look nice together. They do. I like them. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Here's my dry tiles. They dried really well. I've got a nice little shine to it. They look pretty, pretty good. A little bit of gold showing through. This one has more white, but it looks really pretty. So now I will resin them and put cork on the back. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.